Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Red Trees. Red Trees is kind of a cutesy RPG maker game with some light horror elements. It involves a girl following a room around into the woods in order to find out if there's something spooky out there. Who's there? Come on, I know you're there. Why are you following me? If this is some kind of joke, it's not fu- Ah. Uh, no, you're- Stop! Don't come any closer! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Shazam. They dead. I pick up my clothes. Look at this mess. It's your bed. You don't have time to make it. You have boring things to do. There are dirty clothes everywhere. The dresser. It's a poster of your favorite horror movie. So cool. What a load of rubbish. Like my soul. Another horror movie poster. There's a romantic movie on TV. That's not horror. Is this Pokemon? The TV is covered in a fine layer of dust. It seems Mum drew a big smiley face on it. It's nice, Mom. You pick up a book. Is that a monster in your closet, or are you just happy to see me? A horror anthology, rated R18. Hey, this book is yours! Good morning, Armus. It's a nice day today. Bro. I mean, only Chan. Mom's chair. You're not sure if it's safe to touch it. Dad's shoes. Soul? There's nothing but trash in here. You don't know what you expected. The fridge is full of baked goods, but not to touch. So this game features all custom sprite work, all custom music. So far, it's pretty cute. Armis, are you going out? Be careful, all right. Don't go near the woods today. Oh, and I made cookies. You should take some with you. They're cooling on the tray in the kitchen. If you see your mother, don't give her any. Tell her that dinner's at seven. No, oh, so I get baked goods after all. I got a bunch of cookies. Oh boy! No mail today. I swear to God, this is pal. No, there's only there's more than two houses, I think. Would I walk slow? The small spider you've ever seen is spinning a web inside the mailbox. You tell it to do its best. Gambate, Spider-Chan. Time to raid this house and steal their stuff. There's a note on the table. Yes. Colin. I came over, but you were asleep. Emoji. Eye open face. I didn't want to wake you, but I needed to borrow her watering can. Sad. Sad emoji face. So, I'm taking it in. I'll bring it, it back later. Cat face. Kitty. Meow. I'll bring it back later, after I post on Guy Online. Hey, are you the Guy Online poster? Oh, Artemis, is that you? My... Uh, do... If you're resetting up, do you think you can water the flowers outside for me? I water a ganchi on the kitchen table. Ay... Oy, 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 oy. There's no water you can here. Oh, they took it. Well, who's Kitty? Uh, I should be able to recognize them somehow. Blue Town? I used to think a small town in the middle of a forest seemed like a cool place to live. I'm not sure about that now, though. Ha ha ha. It feels like we're closed off from the rest of the world when bad things happen, doesn't it? If something started picking us off one by one, we'd be pretty helpless. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing bad will happen. Is this kitty? Because like the, the, the house shape? Yeah, you're a kitty. Should have figured. Oh, you're, um, um, 
I've forgotten your name. I'm sorry. W wait. Are those cookies? May I have them, please? Ah, thank you. I haven't eaten forever. Anyway, um... Why are you here? Give me my water can. I break them legs. Watering can? Oh, um, right. The one I borrowed. I'll just go get it. I'll bake your guy on line coins or whatever those things were called. I don't know, I never posted there. This is just a reference. It's not supposed to go that far. Here you go. So sorry for the trouble. I was gonna bring it back this morning, but oh well. I've been too scared to go outside ever since. As I heard about that poor man they found in the forest. You know about Rao, I mean, right? No, wait a second. You're just a kid. Your parents might get mad at me if I spook you by telling you about something like this. Please forget I said anything. Wow. You got a watering can. There's no water in it, though. Let's go find some water. Hang in there, kitty. Cat dolls. Figures of cats and cat girls. <laughs> it appears that one of these monitors is up to play cat video. Oh my god, let's leave. Look, trash can. Soul? It's garbage. This town is bigger than I thought. Save, just in case. I don't want something stupid to happen like I fall in the lake and drown. It's good to do your best, even if you think you're gonna fail. But it's also important to remember that you aren't owed success just because you tried. For example, even though I've been fishing for hours, I don't have any bait, so fish just won't bite. I just had a dream about this last night that's so weird. Such is life. But with the watering can? It's full now. Now I can water plants. Bun bun! But he doesn't even want to move. My clothes for inspection is shivering and covered in scratches. I guess it doesn't want to hop too. And because it's such a has such a fluffy personality. What is going on here? Hello, Artemis. What, you need to get through? I'm sorry. I can't move right now. We are conducting a ceremony convened with the spirits of the dead. If you bring me something to serve as a conduit, follow a recently departed spirit. Like a part of its body, and I'll move for you. Sorry. Yeah, buddy. Bet you're sorry. Let's water the plants. Sprinkle some water over them flowers. And when they nod under the droplets, make you feel like they're saying, Thank you. Bad to water all of them. They shiver in ecstasy. The leaves stroke your skin hungrily. Wow, there are these... These are some flowers. They whisper grateful words to you. I wanna get dinner. I know a good place. Red flowers smell red. They're ready. Artemis, you watered all my flowers, didn't you? Aren't you? Thank you. It's not much, but you can have this. Now, there's gotta be someone out there who likes red. And I hope they're ready for this. Because I'm flowering with energy. What is this, a farm? No, it's a Spooksville. Red flowers. You should definitely talk to people a lot. You never know when someone might need you to do something for them. Or have something important to tell you. I need something spooky. Give it to me. You can make out the shapes of bunnies inside. They seem to be stuffed. A bunny calendar. Somehow all the month's names have been changed to bunny puns. It's a good place. Oh, Artemis, is it? Have you seen my daughter anywhere? She's been acting strange ever since her rabbits started disappearing. 
as a parent, I can't help but be worried. Rabbits going missing their bodies in the forest. They're always covering huge bite marks bigger than anyone's seen around here. The strangest part is, we've caught a few of them sneaking towards the forest. Our rabbits are domesticated. We've never had any problems with them running away before. In fact, it's difficult to coax them away from the house, even if we try. What could be possibly be out there that's making them run away? It's troubling, to say the least. Bun bun! Oh, these blue rabbits. One bun, two bun, red bun, blue bun, but not really. Or a purple. It's a bun. E. It's a bun. Jump bunnies. So that's not a horror house, that's a... Rabbit farm. The forest is off limits today. If you want to go in, you'll need the mayor's permission. You look like a purple-haired girl from that new anime, Ray Zero, the one that likes money. See, so we got that kind of like hat going there. Like a vague of Shanka. You want my flower, Bun Bun? The bunny started to follow me. Bun Bun! Come, Bunster. Let's go back to the Bun Kingdom. There's a bunch of people waiting. The bunny ate the red flower and went home. You're home now. I brought your bunny back. Be reward. What's that? You found one of our rabbits. You brought it home. Thank you so much, Artemis. Here, you can have this. You got a bunny skull. So you raise bunnies, and then when they pass away, you keep their skulls as memory, I guess. Something like that. I mean, it's the thought that counts. And then, whoa, you have a skull. Can I see it? Sure. Wow. With this, the spirits will flock to me. Thanks, Thomas. I'll get out of your way now. Thanks. I think that's still your daughter, like you mentioned earlier. Oh God, big town. They special is regret. It's free. Along with depression. Actually, that costs you money. 60% off, though. The feeling of being adrift in a cold and caring universe. It's free, also. The best things in this world are free, see? Ever flavored cat food. All sorts of cereal. The super soup section. It looks super effective. The regular soup section looks okay. The shelf is painted to look like there's stuff on, but it's actually empty. <laughs> Various drinks and ups. Looks like someone bottle of protein powder. Organic food. Let's just 360 away from that. Cats? Piles of blue town postcards and they're covered in dust. What's up? Hate your life? Huh. <laughs> Come to the shop. Literally the only shop in town, so if you don't have it, you better not need it. What can I do for you? Okay, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm tired of the balls. If you can bring me anything that'll help, I'll give you a totally neat mystery on that found out back. Steal your stuff. Ah, oh, slushies. There's nothing quite like drinking pure sugar. I gotta bring you something cool. My brother turned our house into a gym, so now I spend most of my time outside. It's a real pain in the butt. Sometimes I wish I didn't have a brother. Uh, you're, that was insensitive of me. I'm sorry. I was just thinking out loud. Is this a gym? Wow, you really did... I mean, good for you, I guess. Here to see your mom, kiddo. I think she's about to done for the day. Hey, mom. Hey, Red. What's up? 
What are you looking for me? No? Say it's called Blue Town because it's blue. I'm all done here anyway, so I'm gonna head home. I wear red because our sprites are reddish. Oh, wait. Take this. I found it in the garbage can. That's unique, right? Don't stay out too late or your dad will get worried. Worried. See ya. Can't even reach the barbell. Try to lift the barbell. Nope. Protein. That's the bad protein powder. And milk. I guess you would call this Game Boy Color palette aesthetic. What do you want exactly again? Oh, you need like coffee or something, right? Why don't you just eat, take a slushy like you work at a convenience store? Lazy bastard. Hey, what's going on? Couple? Friends? Do you know that strange guy who lives east of town? I've heard he used to have a wife, but a while ago she fell ill and passed away. I feel sorry for him. He always seems so lonely, and after they found him this morning, well... At least he's alive, right? Have you heard about the Witch of the Forest? She passes through here now and then, but she never comes into town. Someone should probably tell her that we're not like the towns up north that still burn witches, but... We're all too nervous to talk to her. You burned witches? Hey, buddy. I'm practicing! One day I'm gonna swing so high they'll be able to hug the moon. Come here, moon! Oh, damn. This atmosphere doesn't support me. Hey. Who are you? If you're here to see the mayor, you can go right on through. It's not like we ever do any work. Animal Crossing it is. Technically, the mayor does all the work in Animal Crossing, though. Labels don't make sense at all. Crappy Doodle. Carmel's super cool, mega lovely, ultra stunning office. Carmel. Hey. You play video games? Is that Raymu up there? No, it's Cat Girl Zombie. Oh, sup. You need something? What? You want to go into the forest? No freaking way. What happened to the other guy? You think I want to help responsible for you going missing? Yeah, nah, it happens. Sorry, dude. Takes work. A lot of paperwork. Dolls and frilly clothes. I still need something to pep up this guy. At the seven, I mean the convenience store. Maybe the witch has got something. You knock on the door. There's no reply. I don't get you open up yet. Well, that's a dead end. What can I supply? I mean, I might have to go back to the Evertown to find something for that guy. Oh, there's a cat up there. Maybe that'll wake him up? Hey, who are you? You have to be careful wandering around like this. Your parents are probably very worried about you. No, I'm a pro tag, don't worry. Fish tank. Gives me a fishy feeling. I feel like my emotions are tanking. Wow. Hey, part time. Come here, come here. Oh my god. Stop. I like cleaning. It helps me forget about how empty my life is. Boy, you blue towners. How's it going, Armus? Caution, wet floor. Alright, so that's like a restaurant bar. Here's the end of town. Our... What is... You just move in? Box full of boxes. I feel like your personality is really boxed in. 
Jim Blind says, Everything inside is shaped like a fruit? B movie DVDs. What's that? What are you holding? That's my shirt. I've been looking everywhere for it. Can I have it back? Thank God. I can finally get out of here. I guess it'd be rude not to think it properly, so you can have this. I hate sweets anyway. A lollipop, that'll perk the other person up. Dresser full of dresses. They look comfy. Snook snook. Container full of containers. Eh, you're a square anyway. This time they need you. So we'll take the lollipop. I don't think the cat would like a lollipop. You like cat things, right? This lollipop shaped like a cat. Hello again. Hey, um. Could you do me a favor? Meow. My cat Nyarfer got out today, you see. I'm worried sick about him, so I can't go outside. Do you see a little white cat with red collar where? Could you bring him here? I saw him earlier, yeah? You like the shirt I gave you? Awesome, right? You gave her what? Are you going for other people's rubbish again? No, no. Red, don't listen to your dad. Finding cool things to trash is an art form. I can hear you, you know. Please stop to your child and savory things. You know, I thought you were our brother, but I guess you're their dad. Hard to tell, actually, with the faces. Unsavory my ass. It's a life skill, I tell you. Seriously, don't listen to your mother. The last thing we need is the neighbors asking why they caught you going through their bins at 2 a.m. again. That lollipop looks yummy. Can I have it? Sure. Yay! Don't tell my mom, okay? You can have this. I don't want to play with it anymore. Teacup, huh? I do have a teacup. Maybe I can get some stuff. Maybe some Slurpees put in a teacup, you know? Slurpee tea. Don't you have teacups? What have you got there? That's one of my teacups. Did my daughter give that to you? That girl, I swear. I have it back. Thank you, hon. Please take this for your trouble. Your parents might be able to make use of it. A bottle of floor cleaner? Well, the person who likes cleaning would take the floor cleaner. This is essentially a weird economic trading game. <laughs> You're finding up things of value that be valuable to someone and trading up. I like cleaning. So forget about how much my life is. I got some cleaner cleaner. How about that, huh? Are you gonna use that floor cleaner? Because if you're not, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Kid, you're a lifesaver. Um, to think of it, I need to ask you a favor. You know the only guy who lives east of town? He's a regular here, but since he's injured right now, he can't come get his order. I'm sorry to trouble, but could you please take it to him? This is going straight to the person in the convenience store. Alright, I got you. Get you a milkshake. Come on out. Oh, now you could let me come in, because I have a milkshake, alright? Fridge isn't working, there's raw food inside. Dirty dishes. That's alright, you still look kinda cute. Bandages are, you know, they're hip now. Thanks. I know why you're really here. You wanna know what happened. It's all brats like you ever care about, huh? Fine, I don't care anymore. When I can't sleep, I like to go walking in the woods. It's quiet, it helps me relax. But this morning, when I was out there, I realized something was following me. No matter how hard I tried to shake it, it was always walking behind me. At first, I thought it was someone messing with me, but then I realized it couldn't be. No one's ever in the woods at this time of the day. No one but me. So anyway, eventually I got fed up. I rounded on it and yelled at it to come out. And it did. The moment I saw it, I knew it wasn't a human. I don't really remember what happened after that. 
When I woke up, I was being carried back into town. That thing, it, it looked like my dead wife. Ghost. What's with that look? I get it. You don't believe me, right? You think I've lost it. I never should have said anything. Get out. Give me some stuff first I can trade. Did you hear me? I said, get out! But, but my trade. If you send me on the way out. Pillow! Who would want a pillow? Would you like a pillow, Mare? You like pillows, right? Uh, okay, I get it. You are the mayor from Animal Crossing. Maybe you want a pillow? I'll pick you up. Is that a pillow? That wasn't a rhetorical question. I can hardly tell. Looks like crap. Guess it'll do for me. Can I have it? Give me the pillow, yeah. Sweet. You can have this thing I found. What is it? Well... That's a can of worms I'd rather not open. The cat will like this- we know the guy with the bait. He needs bait. So I gotta go down to the guy with the bait. Give him the bait and he'll probably give me a fish. And then I take it back to the cat and take the cat back. To the cat guy. And the cat guy will give me something. To give to the mayor, hopefully. Where'd you get that kind of worms? That's exactly what I've been looking for. Thanks. Wait here a sec. Take this. Hey, kitty. Let's go. That's right. The cat eats the fish and starts to follow you. Your name is now Mr. Meowski. Don't ask me why I always call every cat I meet that, Mr. Meowski. Says your name now, Mr. Meowski. I feel like it's perfect for you. I made a big pause after I made that pun. There he is! Meowfer, where have you been? I was so worried. Thank you so much for finding him. Please take this. You got a cat girl figurine. Actually, I actually kind of like that. I feel better now. You know who likes figurines? The mayor. Mayor, I have you a cat girl figurine. We can make a deal here, if you're willing to accept it. I give you the etchy cat girl figurine. I mean cat girl figurine. And you give me some money. Under the table, no taxes. Back again, kid? Look what- wait. Oh my god. That figure, it's- I- it's seriously a limited edition one, holy crap. They only made like 50 of these. I know that feeling very strongly. Kid, I'll do anything you want. Please give me that. I'm- seriously, thank you so much. This is technically a bribe. I might die right now. Okay. I'm- okay. You, uh, wanted to go to the forest, right? Here, I'll write you a note. Give this to the kid I bribed to guard the entrance. Did you really bribe them? Wouldn't it have been like you, like, hired them for a job? Because you can do it for public safety, right? Hey there, buddy. I got it right here. Uh, that's a note for the mayor, isn't it? Can I have a closer look? Seems legit. Alright. I'll be here, so if anything tries to eat you, just give me a yell. Did your sprite make you look kinda like... that one character from Card Capture Sakura, the one with the camera? Very briefly. One's gonna be in the forest. A spooky ghost? Is this... 
This is that puzzle. <laughs> What's a little girl like you doing so far from home? Are you looking for someone? You won't find them out here. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn back now. No. Suit yourself. You can use my boat to cross the river. Although... Might I trouble you for a small favor? What a kind girl you are. Here's my problem. You see the free things over there? This is that puzzle. You need to get them across the river, but my boat can only hold one at a time. If you leave the ass, the cattle will die, and look around and all the best flowers, but I will eat them. Fun! You there? Get the bun bun back. The cat pack. I swear you always see like an incarnation of the wolf sheep puzzle. Like in so many games. Also mystery things, we don't know who's the killer. Now I go go get the rabbit. Hey. I'm solving your mysterious puzzle, ghost person. So feel. Dreams are crushed, right? No soul for you. Neat trick. You did it. Good job. I believe you might find this useful. A bag of meat. <laughs> Take care now. A bag of identified meat. It's gonna be a wolf I have to deal with over in here. I wonder if there's a bad ending if I don't have the meat. Wow, this. This is actually pretty serious. These are actual bones and blood. So you finally came. I knew you would. Who are you? Oh, I do have a brother. Sis. I've been looking for you. Me too. I miss you so much. Not you. Uh-huh. I mean you, Miss Monster. Huh? You don't need to look like that. I know what you are. That's why I'm here. I do miss my brother, but... For a while now, the person I most want to meet has been you. Come on. Really? You have to come up with a better trick than that. It's not a trick. You should know that better than anyone. I'm not sure how it works, but you can see into people's hearts, can't you? There's a certain yokai that can do that. And look into mine. I'm not lying. I've wanted to meet you so badly. I love monsters. I do too. I think they're really cool. At first, it was just that. But then I started thinking, how can someone who can understand other people as well as you can possibly be bad? You must get lonely out here. And I know you must be really hungry. Living off rabbits, because you probably don't want to attack anyone. I... I bet you were scared to show yourself around humans. But I've got a warm house, and lots of food. And I'm sure everyone would love to meet you. Plus we have plenty of rabbits. So... 
Won't you come with me? I, um... Hey, where are you going? No, you're just transforming. You're... a very strange person. You think so? I mean, in a good way. Maybe. I'll come with you. Oh, before we go, there's something else. Some nice lady gave me this bag of meat. Do you want it? There's so much. Are you sure I can have this? Take it. Uh, uh... Think... Um... How is it that humans express gratitude again? Oh. Um... Like that, right? Um... Well, sure. Now let's go home. Yeah. And so began the prequel journey of Inuyasha and Kagome. Red Trees. So that was Red Trees. A kind of short, fun, simple game, actually. Really cute. Uh, reminded me of Patty and Mr. Miles, except without the big twist in that game. This one obviously stays kind of cute. Which is good, actually. Um, I actually really enjoyed this. You know, it's not really, like I said, a complicated game or anything, but it had a lot of charm. But yeah, thank you all for watching me play Red Tree. I'll see all you guys later, and take it easy.